mechanics and the swing. Yeah, we always uh, give him a hard time because he's walking around with the tripod to just video a swing, so it's pretty funny that we get to get to do that, but it's, it's pretty special what you see him do on the field, and uh, it translates on the field, so it's, it's pretty incredible to see. When, uh, when your organization uh, spends the money that you did, bringing him in and Marcus, do you guys feel like a shift? Maybe you know, it didn't happen immediately, obviously, last year, but you know, going forward, hey, these guys, want we want to win, and these two guys are going to be the guys to... Yeah, absolutely. Um, when, you, when you see the front office going out and spending money on guys, and it shows that they care and they want to win. And, uh, as a player, that's all you can really ask for is getting that opportunity to go out in the field and, and win every day. So uh, we're excited where we're at right now. There's a lot of baseball we play left, and um, just, just going to keep working, keep grinding, and, and see what happens. And after last year, obviously didn't go the way you guys wanted, uh, new manager and all that going into this year. You guys had like a bunch of all-stars everywhere. Um, did you guys have a sense in spring training that this kind of, you know, first half, you know, yeah. this kind of success could happen? You guys had the talent in the room? For sure, for sure. Um, I think... When we saw the signings of the, of, uh, of DeGrom and Avaldi and, and Heaney, I think it just sparked us and, and we all got in, a, in the same room together in spring training and we all felt the same energy and, and Boach came in and gave, a, uh, gave us a great speech about just playing as one. Uh, and, and when we played as one, it, good things happen and obviously you see the personal success and I think that just comes with everybody just believing in each other. And, and having each other's back. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm not asking you to put down your former manager, but you're having a guy like both series. He's going to be a part of Hall of Famer. How much of a tangible effect is you know him coming in and being different? How different is he? Do you feel like a difference? Yeah, there's, there's definitely a difference. You just you feel that uh, the sense of just the sense of consistency that you get from him every day. He's going to be the same guy each and every day. He's not going to come give us rah-rah speeches, but you know when he when he talks, it's important and, and it carries weight. So. Um, he's, he's like the consistent leader that we need, um, and obviously we're, we're off to a great start. Again, a lot of baseball will be played, so uh, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, when you got a consistent leader at the helm that's that's done it before and is a proven winner, it's it's creates a good mo uh, momentum. Hey Amen. Thank you. You got it. Yeah. Um, everyone. Uh, I would love to see Otani's BP. That'd be pretty special. Uh, and I'm excited to see what Adolis can do in the Homer Derby. Thank you. You got it. I was known as a defensive first guy, and um, being able to be solid defensively was always important to me. And knowing that I could do it and be good at it was was important. So. Um, just knowing that aspect, and obviously hitting came along when it did. And it's always that was always fun, but um, just probably being engaged in each and every pitch was was cool enough for me. When did you know that the pitchers became more important than pitchers' work became more important than your work? When did you come to that realization? When I first started, when when every single pitching coach came up to me and was was talking to me, and I probably saw our catching coach once every week in the minor league. So it's. Um, when you have four meetings a day about how we're going to get these guys out, it's that's when it becomes pretty clear. Yeah, the days get pretty long, don't they? Oh yeah, it's a lot of homework, a lot of a lot of meetings, and a lot of numbers. I was going to ask you, just the Mariners roll out a ton of young kids that throw 100. I mean, like when you saw like Miller and all those guys, we were like, where are they? they just keep kind of adding guys? Because before it was Gilbert, and then they added Castillo. So. Yeah, it seems like every every time we play them, they got somebody coming out of the bullpen throwing 100 and it's not fun and you, you see their numbers they lead the ba lead the majors in, in bullpen ERA and Sergeant ERA so it's obviously it's not a fun time when you, when you gotta face these guys and um, glad some of these guys are on our team this weekend Thanks, man. you got it what have you learned about Bruce as the season's gone long as a manager uh, that he's just consistent with everything. Uh, we could be going good, we could be going bad. He's going to have a consistent attitude each and every day, and he's he's going to come to the ballpark in a good mood, and um, that's always it's always something to feed off of. Thanks, you got it. Great season this year. Re reason why you think you know? Uh, I think everybody just is has faith in everybody in the lineup and, and the pitching staff. Uh, we have, we have a great team chemistry going on right now. Everybody's excited to show up to the field each and every day, and. and uh, gives us a chance to win, and um, I think we're just excited to show up. And we got a, a truly deep lineup, one through nine, that enjoys playing and, and puts up good at bats every, each and every day. Yes, and also, it's many Japanese people are very scared of you. No, you know not of me. <laughs> no, because 
you hit it many times I mean, face Shohei. Yeah. You have any secret? No, no secret. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad he's on. Our, I'm glad he's on my team this weekend. Um, it's uh, like I said before. We just go up there and try to put a, together good at bats. Um, mm -hmm. He's truly one of the best in the game, and you don't really want to face him, but we got to. So uh, when you go up there, you try to put together a good at bat. Yeah, because he had uh, 100 miles, and you know he yeah. has many moving ball. How how is it possible to make a, like that result? Sometimes you just gotta close your eyes and swing hard and hope good things happen. <laughs>